briefly as I can, since I don't want to keep anyone longer than we need to, on the IBM System X x86 based line of systems. Primarily really focusing on one component of the most recently announced systems announced at the end of last month from IBM, following on from Intel's announcement of their new generation of Intel Xeon processors. And that's really the Blade Center HS22 blade. Again, stepping back and looking at the holistic dynamic infrastructure story we've been speaking about throughout the day, the new generation of System X and Blade Center servers, we want to look at what are the reasons to make an IT investment, especially right now in the challenging economic times, and what are the reasons to look at IBM to leverage and implement that dynamic infrastructure. And what are some of the key enablers of this new generation of Blade Center servers? Performance, especially performance with the new Intel Xeon processor generation, lower power and cooling consumption, and easier comprehensive management. And those kind of tie into the three general challenges we've been discussing all day, reducing your costs, managing your risk, and improving your service level. First of all, just to recap for the benefit of anyone new to the product line, what is Blade Center? It's basically an integration of not just your servers, but also your storage and networking into a single physical footprint. IBM does this by leveraging an open design. They have an open standard for their Blade platform, so that not just IBM, but a variety of vendors can play in terms of application-specific servers, and even more importantly, I.O. modules, I.O. switch modules, to enable basically a family of products around the Blade Center to suit whatever needs you may have. All this is built on what IBM calls their X-architecture technology, and what that is is IBM taking their very powerful portfolio of technologies from their traditional high-end mainframe and power systems, such as the ones that John just spoke about, and bringing that down to what has typically been a very low-end commodity X86 server market, bringing that up to some of the capabilities of your traditional power and mainframe high-end systems. So you'll be able to see a lot of that technology implemented in Blade Center. Five different chassis to choose from, depending on your different needs. Six different Blade servers, including solid-state, I'll say this is really what they mean there, and a range of expansion modules, an expansive I.O. portfolio, and this is where that open standard for development comes into play, and then not just the hardware systems, but IBM also provides value-added software for systems energy and virtualization management, things like IBM Director that John may have already spoken to. And of course, all that backed by IBM's world-class services and support. There we go. So today, what is your typical x86 server infrastructure look like? What is your typical data center infrastructure look like? It looks like this mess right here. You've got usually a whole battery of servers, application servers, security devices, security gateways, little file server application appliances, all that kind of server tier of infrastructure, all that cable and tied into usually some kind of shared storage back end, typically fiber channel storage over a SAN through fiber channel switches connecting to a variety of fiber channel SAN disk subsystems. On the other side, you have yet another mess of cables, all going to a variety of network Ethernet switches uh, in your racks, in your data center, all that even going further out then to uh, your actual point of preference, presence, either on the public internet or your corporate internet, and whatever, whatever your organizational point of presence is, where you have your routers and your firewalls. What IBM Blade Center does is it collapses not just the servers, but a lot of that mess into one physical chassis. And so you reduce 
all that management, especially physical management, of a complex infrastructure into one physical chassis. Storage area network, local area network, all those external switches, all that gets integrated inside a single physical chassis. And that's the key benefit of going with a blade form factor for your infrastructure. Consolidation of not just servers, but also all the cables, switches, routers, all that, uh, all that surrounding IO connectivity for your systems. The goal being, of course, to avoid getting run over by the big giant ball of cables. Five different chassis uh, to meet a variety of needs in the Blade Center portfolio. And this portfolio has pretty much been stable for the last couple of years and will continue to be stable for the next two years, maybe even mm -hmm. further out, uh, based on based on things I've been hearing. One differentiator is IBM established this portfolio of Blade Centers and designed it from the start to be upgradable as new server blade server technologies became available, new processor technologies became available. They engineered it up front to protect your investment. When you invest in this initial upfront cost in a blade center chassis, you can be confident that down the road and some of these uh, some of these first generation ones have been around for over five years and you're still having new blade servers released that are compatible with those chassis. So IBM believes strongly in protecting your investment, they designed it up front to be scalable to future technologies so that you're not having to replace your blade chassis every couple of years like some, uh, some of our competing vendors require you to do to take advantage of new technology. So this is the current portfolio. The first generation Blade Center was the Blade Center, now referred to as E, Blade Center E, uh, was the first generation enterprise data center Blade Center holding 14 blades. That was followed on uh, a few years later by the newer Blade Center H, basically the high performance or really high speed switch fabric Blade Center. That was really the main enhancement over the original generation Blade Center. It has support for, high, for your new generation high speed switch fabrics such as InfiniBand, 10 gigabit Ethernet, that are just really, some of them are just now really starting to get major traction in the industry. Uh, pretty much slightly different form factor. Blade, the original Blade Center E was 7U, the newer H is 9U. They both hold 14 blades. They're really designed to be your enterprise class data center Blade Center chassis. Over here on this side, you basically have two variations on these two originals. These are the T chassis, uh, basically for tough or telecom, since they're the, the frequent user of those chassis. They're designed for rugged, uh, rugged environments. Uh, so they have a lot of physical ruggedization and uh, dust filters for unclean air, all sorts of other things. And uh, more importantly, support for DC power. So this is what you see implemented in a lot of telecom data centers that run on DC power. And then a lot of vehicle type environments like military environments where they have DC power available. Uh, so like 